putting my headphones on out. Uh, uh. I'm becoming old, man. I'm an old man now. Anyway. Welcome back to Sonra's Low School of Guitar. I hope you guys had some fantastic holidays and spent some time with your loved ones, your family, and your friends. We also took some time off to recoup and rejuvenate, but now we're back with another banger. And we've got Marcin Barzalek. <laughs> One of the greatest acoustic guitarists and guitarists and musicians of all time and of the modern day and world. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. We've got three videos of him today. So bear with me, this is going to be a nice and long video, very incomprehensive, comprehensive, comprehensible, <laughs> comprehensive study and analysis of his playing. And we're going to try and break down what makes him great. So let's jump into it. America's got talent. Hello there. Welcome, welcome. What's your name? My name is Marcin. How old are you? I'm 18. I just turned a couple of months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, so I actually come from Poland, from a very small city. Oh, wow. But soon I'm going to relocate here in the States because I got accepted to college. Oh! Yeah. What are you going to do for us today? So I'm a guitarist, as you can tell. I don't sing. Oh. And why, why America's Got Talent? First of all, it's like the best show on earth. So, so that's the best reason and is the biggest platform to go and promote yourself on. So, well done to Martin for identifying his opportunities. That's awesome. We don't want to hold you up. We're excited to see what you got. Thank you so much. Just hands in the mic. Plugs in his guitar. Oh, some feedback. Alright, go. So before we continue, just listen to all the different techniques he's using. I mean, he's tapping on his guitar, he's fretting with his other with his left hand, and he's strumming with his right hand and tapping with his right hand at the same time, while also doing some percussion on his guitar. Um, I think this is Fur Elise by Beethoven, if I'm not mistaken. It sounds pretty sick. It's his own rendition of it, and he's making it more modern. And just by telling by the audience reaction, this is the first time anyone's ever seen play the guitar like this. And it's impeccable, it's incredible. And uh, yeah, let's just watch the rest of the video and just enjoy it together. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it there again. So he's playing with weird tunings here. He's tuning basically to the open to the open chord of the key that the song is in, and that's how he's getting all of those sick sounds out of it. And uh yeah, that was just a crazy harmonic that he just hit there. Um it's just when you hover your finger over the frets and uh not really over the fret, but more like the little fret rod, I guess that is called the fret, and he's just like bending his guitar as well, just to get the maximum amount of harmonics out of it. And uh, yeah, that's actually quite difficult to do because if you do it too hard, you will snap the neck off of your guitar. So beginners, don't try this at home. 
Learn from Martin and practice all your life to be able to do what he does in your own way. Anyway, let's continue the video. Mm. Man, oh man. That was crazy. That was crazy cool. That was crazy cool. I wonder if he got the golden buzzer. Let's actually watch and see if he got it. Standing ovation, of course. Give him the buzzer. Marcin! The buzzer. That was an absolutely out of this world performance. Great job. Si out of this world performance, like this lady just said, I don't know who she is, but she's nothing compared to Martin. She does he deserves to sit in that chair and like listen to her, like do all, well auditions or whatever. Your boy's the goat. Martin really played it in his own way, and I've never ever heard anyone do that type of composition of Beethoven on a guitar before. Um, so that is just in incredible. The amount of percussion and just the dexterity it takes just to do half or even a quarter of what Martin does. It would take you your whole life, like your whole lifetime, just to be able to do that. Anyway, let's move on to the next song. So this is Toxicity by System of a Down, one of the greatest bands out there. And I'd love to see how Martin is going to put his own spin on this. As I said spin, I just spit a bit. So, just so that you guys know, I am a spitter and not a quitter. He looks even younger in this video. see who that guitar was signed by before I continue with the rest of the video um, he looks even younger in this video he looks about 15 16 here he's even got that little little schoolboy haircut that we all used to have well especially here from in our country we have to cut our hair short um, in order to go to school uh, unless you want to be like me and just get detention every other week because your hair was too long but uh yeah yola man oh it's so cringe anyway but uh, I can't really see who signed that guitar but uh, to be able to be able to play his stuff at his age just tells you he's a once in a lifetime talent and uh, no matter how hard you try you cannot replicate this band's style he's just crafted it and like just sculpted it into his own unique way of playing the guitar <laughs> So he's playing everything, he's playing the drums, he's playing the bass lines, he's playing the vocal lines, he's playing the lyrics as well that you can hear. If you go and listen to the song by System of a Down, um, you can actually hear everything that Martin is doing in that band and hear everything the band is doing that Martin is doing. So he's doing everything at once. He's doing four things at once basically. And uh, to do that all on a guitar is just revolutionary and it will change the, the way we play guitar and the way we see guitar. Because fun fact, Guitar never used to be uh, respected in the classical music sense. Like way, way, like a few hundred, two hundred years ago when like piano and violin were like the most dominant instruments out there. Then this guy came, Francesca Cerega, and he just changed the whole game. He took all of Beethoven's music and just composed it into his own thing on the guitar. And then from then on out, people just started to respect guitar players more and see it more as a skill and not just a little fun hobby. And uh, to this day, guitar is still disrespected, even though you do have a little more respect in the rock scene and the rock sense, but still in classical music, it's not as respected um, as what it once was, and even before that it was a respect. But anyway, I'm going in circles now, let's just, you know, anyway, listen over.
so clean. A little flutter he's doing with his fingers is also you can see some of his references and also where he comes from we probably started learning guitar in the classical sense and uh yeah that's just some really quick playing um he's doing so many things it's actually hard to keep up with what he's actually doing uh there's obviously some post-production going on here but it's some of the cleanest tones you will ever hear and it's it's just beautiful to see that he can get all of these sounds out just by standing there alone in a dark room and recording his guitar. I know it's a video, but still, it's, he still had to go and record this. Beautiful playing, Martin. Fantastic, fantastic. That flutter there, that's the flutter. She's hammering those open strings. She's basically just slapping his guitar, you know, just slapping those strings just to get all of that, uh, that grunginess out of it because that's what System of a Down, that's what they are. They're, they're like a pretty much a grunge band, but also not really. Please, all the fans out there, don't crucify me for saying that. I, I just classify them as grunge, even though they might not be. Anyway, rock and roll, man. So I just want to talk a bit about how I discovered Martin. And actually, strange enough, the first video that we watched uh, about him at America's Got Talent was the first video I actually saw on YouTube. One of my friends at school actually came to me and showed me this stuff because I was just starting to play guitar and he said, can you do this? And I was like, looked at it and I was like, goodness gracious, Is the, if that's the bar, then we all, we're not going to reach the bar anyway. But uh, you can see how he's progressed over the years. Um, he looks way more confident now, like compared to that first and second video to this one, which is the most recent one. And obviously, um, he's got more exposure. He's had more screen time. He's got more fans. He's got he's got more money in his pocket. I mean, that's gonna give any guy more confidence. And uh, yeah, he's also got a, a better team to actually capture everything that he's doing, and also a better production team as well, a studio maybe that's being uh, that allows them. To pick up all the sounds that he's making and he's what he's trying to convey to the world and you can see a lot of his references just by the songs that he's covering you know like layla from sorry there's a fly there's a lot of bugs here in south africa but anyway like layla from uh, eric clapton and derek and the dominoes i mean you can hear the different influences there uh, from clapton the bluesy type of rock and roll sense old slow hand that's what they call eric uh still call him and also Beethoven, obviously. Uh, that's everyone's main inspiration. If you don't know who Beethoven is, you probably don't have Wi-Fi access or internet access or whatever. But uh, And then also System of a Down, Toxicity. That is one of the coolest songs that you'll ever hear. Um, so 
So there's a whole mix. You've got classical music, you've got grunge, alternative rock, a little hard rock vibes, and then as well just classic blues rock that he's all throwing into the mix and that it's all compiled into his own style. And he's taken everything that he's learnt and he's the way he hears it in his head, he's hearing the vocals, he's hearing the bass, he's hearing the drums, and he's hearing the lead vo okay, the lead vocals, the lead guitar and the rhythm guitar. He hears, hears it all at once and he's trying to compose it and composes it on one guitar. Now that is truly remarkable and it's really, <laughs> it's impossible to replicate. And uh, I'm just glad we have someone like him to kind of pave the way and lead us and tell us, listen, this is how you do it. You know, catch me if you can type of vibes. But uh, yeah, I'm just glad to see the following that he has right now. He has so many followers and subscribers on YouTube and he deserves it. He deserves every inch and cent that comes his way. Um, Martin, we salute you and thank you for your time and thank you for leaving this, this earth better than what it was. And thank you for m leaving music and making music in the state that it is. Well, compared to the modern era's music, you, you really just show up every single one of them. I'm talking to you, Drake. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Thank you for watching today's video. If you like what you saw and you like my reaction, please like, subscribe and leave a comment or two. And please leave in the comments um, who you would want me to react to next. I'm also open to any type of criticism and any type of constructive criticism that is, and any type of like positive reference or just any thought you have. Well, not any thoughts. Some of you guys have some sick thoughts out there, but just any anything good, <laughs> just put it on the page. And then, uh, yeah, thank you for watching today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Now let's get those strings. Slinger. Hi guys, my name is The Swat. Thank you so much for watching this video and for the absolute love and support we're receiving for this channel. I just want to tell you guys a bit about our other channel called The Swat and the Instagram, also called The Swat. This is basically my personal channel where I'm trying to showcase my artistry and my musicianship skills and also my talents as a fellow musician. So I would really appreciate it if you guys go and check it out and uh, go follow me through this fantastic journey that we call life. And a career maybe, I don't know. But uh, other than that, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, let's get those strings slinging. Cheers.